make this bracelet you will need 48 A colored bands, 12 B colored bands, 20 C colored bands, and a C clip. It's a good idea to have your supplies ready before you begin, so pause the video here until you're ready to follow along. Now, let's get started. Convert your loom to a rectangle configuration. All of the pins should be in a straight row. Place your loom so that the red arrow is pointing away from you. We'll start by placing 12 8 colored bands along the left side of the loom. You'll start from the center pin and place your first A band from the center pin to the second pin on the left. Then place your next band directly above that and continue placing one band over the other until you reach the second to the last pin. We'll fast forward from here. And once you place this last band, you'll place the last one to the center pin. Then you return to the beginning of the loom. You'll start from the center pin and place this next band from the center to the second pin on the right. Place a band directly above that one and continue to place these bands in a single chain up the right side of the loom. We'll fast forward from here till we reach the second to the last pin. And you stop here and place this last band into the center pin. Let's go back to the beginning of the loom and we'll start placing our bands. The first band we place will be a B colored band from the center pin forward. Refer to the diagram on your screen as we place a pattern of five bands on the loom. We'll start from here and place band 1A out to the left. Band 2A will be placed from the center here out to the right. 3C Four C and then five B will be placed right there. We'll repeat this pattern once again, starting where all those bands left off. We'll place band one A, two A. Then 3C, 4C, and 5B. I'll fast forward from here. Please pause the video and refer to the graphic on your screen until you reach the end of the loom. Then at this last part, we'll place an A band, another A band, and C to the center. The last band that we'll need to place is a cap band on this last pin. We'll use an A colored band, twist it to figure eight, turn it back upon itself, and place it Oops. and place it on that last pin. 
Now we're ready to start looping the bands. Turn your loom so that the red arrow is pointing toward you. You'll start by looping the first three bands. You'll loop one B, pull the cap band back, grab your B colored band, hold your cap band down, and pull that forward. Then two A, grab the top A band in there and pull that to the left. And then three A will be looped out to the right. Now, follow the diagram on your screen to loop a pattern of seven bands until you reach the end of the loom. We'll start here and loop band 1A to the center. So find band 1A, lift it to the center, then 2A, reach in there and grab it, and lift that to the center. Then 3A will be lifted to the forward pin. 4A will be lifted to the forward pin. 5B. Now there's more bands in there. Make sure you grab the right one and pull it forward. Then 6C lifted out to the left. Put your hook in there. Pull all the bands back. Grab the top C band and pull that out to the left. It should form that teardrop shape. And 7C is pulled out to the right. We'll repeat that pattern one more time. 1A is pulled into the center. 2A is pulled into the center. 3A is lifted forward on the left. 4A, lift it forward on the right, 5B is pulled up the center, 6C, pull back all those bands, grab the top C band and pull it to the left, and then 7C is pulled out to the right. I'll fast forward from here. Pause the video and refer to the diagram on your screen as you loop the bands. Once you get to this last part, the bands will be looped differently. You'll loop 1A to the center, 2A to the center, and then the third band will be looped from the outside to the middle, fourth band will be looped from the outside to the middle, and the fifth band will be looped forward. And there we've completed looping all of our bands. Now that we've finished looping the bands, we're ready to finish the bracelet. You'll pull all the bands on that last pin up to the top. Slide your hook down through that channel and tilt it out to the side. Make sure all the bands are around your hook. You'll place an A-colored band on the end of your hook and pull back. Slide your hook back up through that channel and place 
both ends of the band on your hook. Then you'll slide those bands up to the thickest part of your hook. Then with your fingers, pull them off the tops of the pins. And then lift the bracelet carefully from the loom. If made on one loom, this bracelet will need to be extended to fit your wrist comfortably. Place your loom so that the red arrow is pointing away from you. To extend the bracelet, you must decide how many additional bands you'll place going up one side of the loom. Smaller wrists may only need three or four bands. Larger wrists may need six or more. So you place those bands. If you would like a thicker extension, you can place two bands at a time. And there we've placed the last band for extension. This is where you'll attach the cap band. You locate the cap band of your bracelet and you'll extend it from the last pin to the one behind it. and then loop the single chain. After you loop this last band, you'll pull that to the middle and that creates an area where you can attach your C-clip. Grab your C-clip so that the open side is facing forward and snap that over your bands. Once that's on securely, you can pull your extension from the loom. On the other end, pull your hook away, slide your two fingers into those bands, and then you can secure the other side of your C-clip to this area. Once you've pulled that and secured it, you're ready to show off your bracelet and here we have the finished Bird of Paradise bracelet.